Hey guys, so I'm in a plain background. I'm at Starbucks, uh, Barnes and Noble, um, cause that's the only place I can get internet connection, or like, you know, cause my grandma has dial up, and hopefully I'll finish editing my video today and post it while I'm still here at Starbucks. Um, anyways, so I got a couple of requests about braces, so I'm going to do those. So, from Tiny Gummy Bear, oh, wow. from Tiny Gummy Bear, he or she says, can you make a video of your mouth up close and show how long the hangy thing, which is my herbs to plants, in the back of your mouth is? Use some good lighting so I can see how long the hangy thing is. And then Sarah141000. Um, can you make a longer close up of your herbs thing when you open your mouth? Will it like make your mouth uncomfortable? What do they look like when you open and close? I'm so weird, lol. I just want to see how it actually works. And I had bad lighting in my other video, and this video is actually really good lighting, I think. Um, so, Tiny Gummy Bear, uh, when, depending on how far you stretch is how big it is, like, you stretch that wide, it comes undone. Like this. Uh, we put it back together because this bottom one goes into the top one. Like, it, like, there's a little hole. And when you open your mouth just normally, it's about this big. If you open your mouth, like, you're going to yawn, but not yawn, so it, like, breaks, like, detaches them. It goes like this. That's as high as it can go up. Um, and it's called a herbst appliance. And, yeah. So that's how long it is. And how it works is it's attached to these two knobs. Um, bottom one, this is attached to these knobs here, which are attached to this thing in the back, which is attached to. This long string, which is a tat or wire that's attached to this, which is also uh, another replica of that, which is attached to this knob, and that thing. And then up here, there is just uh, two of these. Like the same those attached up here. I don't know it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know anything, and we're not gonna tell you. And it's attached to the top thing up here, and attached uh, to these wires right there. And that does not have a string or a wire. Up here. It's just not. And uh, gummy bear, tiny, tiny, tiny gummy bear, asked me to show how long it is again, so you can tell. It's about that um, on both sides. And then Sarah fourteen one zero zero zero. Um. It does not make my mouth uncomfortable um, when I open and close, except that I'm getting used to it more and more each day. It doesn't hurt the sides of my cheeks anymore, 
um, but it does scrape up against them, and at first it was an open sore, and it did hurt very uncomfortably uh, when I opened and closed my mouth because this little knob kept rubbing up against like the inner of my lip um but it does not hurt after a couple days i recommend using wax if you actually get these and it's just dental wax i think i have some in my pocket dental wax and it just looks like this you guys can look up my uh what i got with my braces video if you guys want to know a little more about wax but you just mold it around the area and it uh kind of block shields it from your uh, lips so there's like no sharp edges so that's really good and what do they look like when they open and close um, and how it actually works. So I told you how it's all connected and then it goes like it just expands and de-expands. Um, like and what, what it's doing is this top one isn't as long as the bottom one. And it's just going over the bottom one when you close your mouth, so it's like this. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much how it works. Nothing in the back moves. The only thing that really moves is these. And when you go to sleep at night, you unlatch them and you put the, the top ones, you flip them so they're facing this way. And they just rest up here, and then the bottom ones go back. So yeah. Hope you guys learned a little something about braces. Yeah. Bye.